in america we've we've seen the uh, dismantling global hindutva conference uh, recently concluding and the outcomes of it uh, were rather uh, not use any words but uh, you know left to one's own judgment but uh, American academia sometimes uh, amplifies wide and frankly ridiculous theories uh, and even comical propaganda on the RSS, on Mr. Modi, on the Hindus. Now you have done a quantified study disproving this. Can you share some of your findings from your research, which is very, very critical? Well, I think that uh, the, you know, initially, they say that Hindutva is separate from Hinduism, and then they say repeatedly throughout their narratives that um, the BJP and whatever Hindu nationalist um, ideology mm -hmm. is consistent with this supremacist ideology, and it's um, it's actually part of Hindu um, tradition, and that you need to be able to somehow you know segregate these supremacist elements out from. Um, the broader Hindu tradition, which really what they're saying is that they want to rewrite um, and exclude whole sections of the Hindu tradition and culture in, um, you know, an agenda which is really a critique of the BJP. If they could just critique the BJP and keep it as a political critique, then that would be more honest. But they've sort of wrapped that up in this sort of, you know, package of that right. they're critiquing an ideology, which they have to then fabricate. Um, and then they have to show why that's a su supremacist thing. And by doing that, they they have to drag in sort of these, these concepts like that upper caste Brahmins commit more violent crimes and they do it against um, lower castes. And that this is, you know, strictly confined to perpetrators who are upper caste Brahmins and um, victims who are lower caste, but that's not how violence works uh, in society. We know that. and it's really doing a disservice to victims because it, it actually points the finger away from the actual perpetrators and blames a political party, which is, I mean, nobody else does that. And no other uh, culture, no other indigenous culture on this planet uh, would have this type of slurring and um, smears uh, being made against yeah. it. The, you know, these academics would be absolutely thrown out of academia here. And they, they may even be subject to racial and vilification um, laws uh, that would restrict them from even conducting these type of studies. Uh, and yet apparently when it comes to Hindus, it's uh, all the rules are off and you can blame them for everything uh, down to New Zealand cricketers having to leave Afghanistan. Right. Isn't it crazy? I mean, no other culture would, would you know, would this be acceptable? Yes. We wouldn't do it to any other religion either. Like, it's just yeah. crazy. I mean, where is this Hindu phobia coming from? Right. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. धन्यवाद नमस्कार